Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel once again. For everybody that's been tuning in, know from my recent reviews that I've been away from this channel for a couple of weeks. But now I am back, and as always, this is Kia's Reviews, back with my review of the newest film in the Wizarding World universe, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. It is said that I hate the no magic. I do not hate them. I do not. For I do not fight out of hatred. Magic blooms only in rare souls. The second installment of the Harry Potter prequels was enjoyable, but far from decent. Fantastic Beast The Crimes of Grindelwald had some amazing scenes and incredible twists, but much like the first one, the story and character development fell short. Much like my problems with Thor Ragnarok and numerous other movies, this film separated into multiple plots that tied up in the end which made me find this film confusing and extremely hard to follow. As my friend said to me about halfway through the film, it's like J.K. Rowling is writing another book instead of writing screenplays for a series of five movies. For a movie titled The Crimes of Grindelwald, Grindelwald was rarely on screen. Also again, like the first one, Grindelwald didn't make a memorable appearance until the final 20 minutes of the movie. The whole reason I was looking forward to this film, aside from being a Harry Potter fan, was Grindelwald as his appearance was extremely cool and Johnny Depp looked like he was ready to take on the movie with everything he had. That was what I was extremely excited to see, but unfortunately this movie failed to provide me with that. Are you a ghost? No, I'm alive, but I'm an alchemist and therefore immortal. Oh, Nicolas Flamel. Jacob Kowalski. Oh, oh. You don't look a day over 375. A big thing that was missing from the Wizarding World movie was the magic and the reasons why everybody loved the Harry Potter series in the first place. Characters and beasts and spells were used from the others, but that did not work as these attributes were not used nearly enough to make this even justifiable as a magically well-made movie. I felt like the story split into what felt like six subplots, but in reality probably was three or four extra plots. Despite not liking the first one much at all, Fantastic Beast The Crimes of Grindelwald was better than the first one, but not by a great deal. The last thing about this film that did not work was the pacing and the confusion of what was going on. The pacing was so off that it did not properly convey a single story that was captivating. The first half of the film was terrible, and almost made me want to leave, but in one particular scene when Grindelwald makes a speech with about 30 minutes to go was when the multiple subplots fit together to make a brilliant and entertaining end with a twist surprising and welcoming for all fans of the Wizarding World. In your shoes, I'd probably refuse to. It's late. Good evening, Newt. Oh, come on. As much as Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald tried to be good, it just simply fell flat. Despite some great scenes of fighting and negotiation, the whole film just did not work at all. With a big disappointment from the lack of Johnny Depp as Grindelwald to the really bad written story, The Crimes of Grindelwald is not what fans of The Wizarding World would want to see. That's why I'm giving this a 5 out of 10. Thank you so much for watching! What did you think of Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald? Let me know your thoughts below. If you like what you're seeing here and you want to see even more, check out my channel and be sure to have a look at my previous reviews of The Girl on the Spider's Web and The Grinch. As always, be sure to follow and subscribe wherever you may like to watch. This has been Kia's Reviews and I'm signing off for now.